My work, uh, I think the core business, core issue we work at is uh, to eliminate uh, discrimination and violence against women uh, and to attain equity, equality, not just for women, but for men and uh, women. Uh, the way we work to achieve that is really mobilizing community towards uh, uh, eliminating violence against women and development of the community uh, on their own initiative, on their own knowledge, on their own skill. Our approach is uh, a concept of that people develop themselves and then not somebody else develops people and uh, increasing their knowledge, uh, understanding about the issues of development and also issues of uh, women. Uh, how do women play uh, the role of agent of change? Is once they understand that they are also human beings mm -hmm. and they can produce value. So far, women are not con considered uh, able to produce value. Uh, their uh, reproductive uh, uh, role is manifested rather than uh, as a value-producing human part of human society. So once we conceptualize gender difference, is that biological difference and man-made gender conceptualization and uh, uh, role that is given by society to women is artificial, not God-given, as they understand it. So far, women understand that the position they live in, the, the inferior position they live in, is God-given. But once when we explain that, then they awaken. First of all, uh, KMG Ethiopia does not just address uh, female genital uh, mutilation. Second, female genital mutilation is a human right issue. It's a human issue. In the 21st century, when women as a human being mutilated alive, it should concern everybody. It doesn't have to be West or North or South. It's a human issue. It's a violation of human rights. It's a violation of a human bodily integrity. It's a violation of a human soul and prevention from expressing free will. That is, woman to say, this is my body. Like a, a young child of a 14 told to her parent, this is my body. My parents are supposed to protect me, not to harm me. So. For American, it doesn't have to be America, it doesn't have to be British, it doesn't have to be anybody, but it's a human issue. Um, youngers today uh, have much more opportunities than the time I had. They should really use their opportunity as a human beings. They have to find their identity, not as a female, as, as a woman, but as a person. They have to find their personhood. They have to find their value as a human being. And they should claim their entitlement as a human being, not as a female. And they should not use their femaleness or feminism as, as, as a scapegoat or as a, as a place to get a position, but with their own merit. They should work hard for it. Nobody is going to give them a silver plate if they know in, 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 the, in this current technology they should, even if they are not given opportunity, they should seek for an opportunity. They should force themselves into the, to get a position in, of, of opportunity. They should demand a position in the leadership. They shouldn't wait until somebody is give, giving them. I didn't have that kind of a chance they, they are having today. So they shouldn't use their feminism as an as as, as excuse. But as a person, if her brother 
for if her f male friend is getting a position and competing for the position. I know society doesn't give her that position, but they should work and get and demand and get it. So for me, uh, for young girls, they have an opportunity. They should grasp that opportunity. They should fight for it. Most importantly, they have to fight for their personhood and human entitlement, not a female entitlement. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Africa Up Close. For more information about the Africa program here at the Wilson Center, please visit us at facebook.com backslash Africa program or follow us on Twitter at Africa Up Close. You can find Dr. Bogalech Gebre's entire presentation on youtube.com backslash Woodrow Wilson Center.